Hey everybody and welcome back to another One of Everything Wednesday's replacement series. I am your host, Mr. Peppers. That's right, we're back again with three packs of Mystery Boosters Convention Edition. We're going to open these up. This is sort of like a series that I've done um, to essentially build what I call the Patron Pile. We take every card that's worth a dollar or more out of these packs and we add it to a pile of cards that gets given away to my patrons essentially every month. Um, so each month that you are a patron past your first month, you will get a pull from the pile in addition to your other rewards at any of my magic tiers. Um, and what we were doing before is we were going around to LGS's in and around my area and buying one of every pack they had available and then opening them up and putting the cards worth over a dollar into that pile. Well, with the pandemic and everything, uh, stores kind of like, you know, we're doing only by appointment and all that kind of stuff. So I sort of put a hold on traveling around because... Part of the reason I like going to the stores is being able to browse what they have and talk with the shop owners and, you know, get to know the stores a little bit um, so that I get a little bit more experience with it as well and all that kind of stuff. So not being able to do that has kind of put a damper on that, but I'm hoping I can get back to that soon. It should be fairly soon. Most of the restrictions are being lifted here in Ontario, probably within the next couple of months. Um, so we'll have to see how it goes. We've got our colorless or our multicolor card was a corpse jack menace and then we've got a frontier bivouac as our uh colorless card um so not a bad little one don't know if it's over a dollar i'll double check it prices will come up in the top right corner we got a wargate as our m15 or older card definitely over a dollar so we'll put that into the pile pretty nice and then we've got a cauldron of souls i think also over a dollar so not too shabby there we'll take that and then we get a playtest card instead of a foil because they're convention editions so here we've got the high troller it's a troll shaman for four. That's a four one. And it says all a targeted spells and abilities cost two less and have their targets chosen randomly. That sounds like a chaos card if I've ever seen one. That's a card that Mr. B would put into his decks uh, because it just makes commander games absolutely ridiculous then, right? It's like, oh, you want to target that? Well, you got to pay two more and then all of your targets are chosen randomly. Uh, and they're like, oh, hmm, awkward. Um, so anyway, there's a lot of value in these packs, which is why we switched to them. Um, we haven't seen any, we haven't seen too much yet, but there is some really good stuff in the Wooburg order. Stinkweed Imp is, is a good one. I don't think it's over a dollar. I'll double check it, of course. Um, but there are a lot of heavy hitters in the Wooburg order. We just haven't seen any yet. Uh, and that's okay. I mean, you can't always hit them, all right? Like there's Ancient Stirrings, used to be over like $3, definitely under a dollar now. But there you go, Tatiova in the multicolor slot. That's over a dollar for sure. So that's pretty nice. We'll take that. And a Tormod's Crypt. Uh, don't believe that's over a dollar. Maybe it's come up a bit. I know it was hovering around that area for a little while, but that's our colorless card for the pack. And then our M15 or older is a Dothy Mind Ripper. And then we've got Memory Erosion as our rare, little three mana enchantment. And our playtest card is a uh, Jasconian Isle. It's a little island fish. Well, three, four. Okay, all right. I mean, they, all the weeks can't be Mana Crypt weeks, right? They can't all be Mana Crypt weeks. So, you know, maybe we'll get there um, in this box. Who knows? We'll have to see how it goes. Celestial Crusader, Champion of Arishin, Windrake, Temporal Fisher, Untamed Hunger, Moment of Craving, Bloodstone Goblin, uh, Keldon Overseer, Seek the Wilds. Some pretty good, like, and these, th this set was just so good to draft. Uh, I still have a box set aside for my friends and I to draft once we can get together uh, in person with a large enough group to do so. Riptide Crab, because I haven't actually had a chance to draft this myself. But I've seen so many people talk about how good it was and how much fun they had with this set. And I mean, looking at the cards, looking at these, like the variety, the draft is going to be amazing. It's going to be so fun. You're never going to know what to expect. We've got a Pilgrim's Eye as our colorless card, but then we got an Umbral Mantle as our M15 or older card. We'll take that. That's like a $10 or more card right now. I think it's gone up quite a bit. Grasp of Fate, I believe, is over a dollar now as well. I think it's gone up. Um, a fair bit. And then we got Barry's Land again. There it is, the basic cloud. Domain plus one. And look, it's Barry. Barry's riding a cloud. So there you have it, folks. Thanks so much for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Rivers. This has been the One of Everything Wednesday's replacement series, the Patron Pile Edition series, where we're opening up three packs of mystery boosters each week and adding the cards worth a dollar or more to the patron pile. If you want to get in on that, you can go over to patreon.com slash Mr. Rivers and check it out. There are a whole bunch of 
options. You can get grab bags, you can get bundles, you can get booster boxes. Heck, you can get a whole bunch of other things. You can get a random pack from Moe's Magic, my LGS that has packs all the way back to the dark. So check that out if you're interested. Thanks so much, everyone. And as always, may your pulls ever be better. <laughs>